When I was looking at all the courses that I could study at the end of year 12, uh, the words nuclear medicine caught my eye. And I thought, this is actually a really interesting career where I can learn a lot, but I can also help people. Before I started studying, I was under the impression that nuclear medicine was just scanning and operating cameras. Later on, I realised it's actually very centred around patient care because you're with the patient from start to finish. I really enjoyed uni. The best thing about the course is that it's very focused on getting you straight into work once you've finished. It was when we first went on our clinical placements during university that we got an idea of, you know, what the day-to-day -day job was actually like. We administer the pharmaceuticals ourselves. So it's a job where there's a lot of variety just in the day-to-day -day work. Jacob and I are both qualified in nuclear medicine and in PET scanning. Nuclear medicine is looking at the function of various organs or parts of the body to diagnose and treat disease. There's a lot of different scans that we do, so we could look at if your lungs have blood clots, we can look at the function of your heart, so on and so forth. Whereas PET is most commonly used to detect and monitor cancers, but also neurological conditions like dementia and epilepsy. Our main piece of technology in general nuclear medicine is the gamma camera, which is a device that essentially picks up gamma rays from within the body in the same way that a normal camera picks up light. We give a patient uh, an injection or sometimes a meal, uh, which is tagged with radioactive tracer, and we can then use the gamma camera to track where that's going in the body. And we can combine that with CT in order to localise where the tracer is in the body to specific organs or structures. I think when people first hear nuclear medicine, they immediately assume it's unsafe and dangerous because of the traces that we use. But the radiation exposure that we get from our scans is actually quite low. It's actually comparable to a long flight overseas, which most people don't think twice about. You get very stable hours when you're working as a nuclear medicine technologist. There's not a whole lot of shift work and there's a lot of opportunities all around Australia. I think nuclear medicine is a very rewarding career. You're making a big difference in these patients' lives. I just love that I get to combine science and healthcare in a way that actually helps people, you know. I get to use physics, I get to use chemistry, I get to use biology, and at the end of the day, I'm helping someone out, and that's just, that's just really, really satisfying. Yeah, it's really great.